already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person Well, we've got the Knight of Swords, and it's with the Three of Cups. So, what this is telling me is that you could have broken up with your person, and then they came back with the Three of Cups. And it's showing that the two of you celebrated. It was a very, very happy come together. Yeah, very happy with the Three of Cups. Um, this Knight of Swords is a type that rushes in planning, um, taking action, and the Knight of Swords will actually cut out whatever gets in their way just to be with their person. So your person was very excited about this comeback together, and I'm getting you felt the same way with the Three of Cups. Yeah, somebody made a return, and it was great, yeah, and you felt your person was very excited to always be with you with the print with the prince of sword showing up here but let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you so we got the princess of cups and we got the prince of pinnacles now this princess of cups it can be about a very playful type of energy for some of you you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Yeah, this person could be younger than you, or you could be younger than them. And with the Knight of Pentacles, for some of you, Aquarius, um, you for some of you, you feel like this person is moving too slow for you. This Prince of Pentacles is a very slow, stable, and civilized type of energy. So, for some of you, um, you like this type of energy, and some of you, you're, you could be confused by it because you're used to a fast-paced type of person, um, but this person is actually civilized, practical, very stable and logical. They're solid. They're not afraid of commitment. Or they could be wanting something committed with you. And like I said, some of you, you feel this person is, is, is different. And you, you, might think, you might feel like they're just slow. But they're different. Yeah, they don't come in in the heat and rush. Not the Prince of Pentacles. So, yeah, it's actually a really good energy. Like I said, you could be younger than this person, or they could be younger than you. And the energy that I'm getting between the two of you could be a very playful type of energy. Um, it's always happy. There's, there's always surprises. You could be de dealing with someone that um, is poetic, very romantic with this Princess of Cups here. They could be wanting something solid and stable with you. Yeah, this, I, I really like the Prince of Pentacles. Very s stable and civilized. But it's throwing some of you off, though, because you're used to crazy. Some of you are just used to a bunch of, a bunch of nonsense with some of the people you meet. But you don't get that with this Prince of Pentacles. So some of you are, could be thrown off coming up. Now, if you are not dealing with anyone romantically, this Princess of Pentacles could be a child or your or some or a kid or someone that you know who's maybe a niece or nephew. Yeah, but for most of you, this is a romance. It's your lover. It's your person that has come back into your life. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Ten of Cups, and it's with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Ten of Cups, wow, you got good cards here. 
Ten of Cups is happy life, happy wife, good good money, good your siblings are doing well, your your pets are doing well, everything is going well when you get the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups can lead to marriage commitment, childbirth, long term. Now it's with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, um, Aquarius, you got somebody that really likes you. They really want to be with you. Seven of Wands is about coming on, coming out on top, wanting to win this, um, wanting to be the last man standing or the last woman standing, wanting to win. Yeah, and you see this is actually, you feel that this connection could actually go somewhere. It could lead to something, something big, to the cups. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the, let's see what the outcome is. We got the Ten of Pentacles and it's with the Empress. Ten of Pentacles. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. It can be about a lot of money. Maybe you're dealing with someone who has a lot of money. Or when the two of you come together. Wow, you're going to make a lot of money. And things will be going really well. All great cards here. These all, these all fell out for you after I shuffled. And the Empress is about abundance. It's about prospering. So these, these, this is really good, the outcome. Your money is going to look good. And there, there will be prosperity and abundance. For some of you, you could have a baby. You could be having a baby with this person. The Empress can be about pregnancy. Yeah, so it looks really good, Aquarius. Don't be thrown off if your person appears to be too slow for you. They're just not the type of person that comes in in a heat and rush and then rush out. They're not like the Knight of Wands. So it looks like for a lot of you, you got someone good coming in or they're already in your life. So that is your reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again... If you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.